Good morning dear students. Welcome to online video class. This video is from your new Mulberry book chapter number 11 Art is for Everyone. Art is for Everyone part 3 presented by Mrs. Anju Sharma. Students in previous video video class I have explained the chapter today we are going to discuss the exercises of this chapter. So let us start making connections. Quick answers. Children, I would like to request you to open your book at page number 143. See, first exercise is here. Quick answers. First, sorry, first exercise is here. Put a tick against the statements that are true and a cross against those that are false. A. Margaret wanted to be an artist. Yes, this is correct statement. She wanted to be an artist. This is correct statement. B. A boy at school made fun of the picture that Margaret had drawn of her house. No, this is false. Why? Because a boy at school made fun of the picture that Margaret had drawn of her house. No. Of, she drawn a, she drawn, she had drawn the picture of Tippity Widget's house. Not her house. So that's why this statement is also wrong. Now next. C. Tippity waved her magic wand over Margaret and she became a better artist. No, 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 no. no. Tippity waved her magic wand and they appeared near fishing boats. So that's why this statement is also wrong. Incorrect. Now next is D. Margaret's mother did not draw anything. No, this is also wrong. She drawn, she drawn something. She even she was thinking she thought that she is not good in drawing, but she drawn something. Come to E. E. Drawing pictures was great fun for everybody. Yes, drawing pictures was great fun for everybody. They enjoyed their time. So that's why this statement is correct. Now children, come to question number two from the story. Pick out all the things that Margaret has drawn and make a list of them in your notebook. So, what are the things? What are the things which they have drawn? Now, see, answer is Tippity Witch's house and garden. Tippity Witch's house and garden. A cheerful sun in the sky. Boats, fishermen. The sea, the sky and the sun. Once again you listen. Answer is Tippity Widget's house and garden. A cheerful sun in the sky. Boats, fishermen, the sea, the sky and the sun. Now children come to next exercise. Reference to context. Given on page number 143. Now see, Tippity Widget looked at the picture and smiled her biggest smile. What a lovely drawing, Margaret. You are a fine artist. Now, the questions are, where were Margaret and her mother? Where were Margaret and her mother? Answer, Margaret and her mother were at, yes, Tippity Widget's house. Where were Margaret and her mother? Margaret and her mother were at Tippity Widget's house. Now come to B question. What had Margaret drawn? What had Margaret drawn? Well, Margaret had drawn an image of Tippity Widget's house and her garden. Very simple. Margaret had drawn an image of Tippity Witch's house and her garden. Now see, see part, how did Margaret feel after she heard Tippity Witch's words? 
How did she feel? Margaret was hurt when a boy laughed at her drawing. But after talking with Tippity Widget, Margaret felt relieved. In the beginning, when when a boy hurt hurt her, when a boy laughed at her drawing, she felt uh, she was hurt when a boy laughed at her drawing. But after talking with Tippity Widget, Margaret felt relaxed. Margaret she felt relaxed. Margaret felt relieved. Okay. Now come to question number four. Margaret chose markers. And her mother picked out a few bits of colored chalks, something she used to draw with when she was a child. In no time, everyone was everyone was busy drawing and painting. Now, on the basis of these lines, the questions are: A question: Who else was there with Margaret and her mother? Well, Tippity Widget. And her friend Uncle Dot were with them. Answer is Tippity Widget and her friend Uncle Dot were with them. Now come to B part. Which group of words in the extract means soon? Yes, very easy. Well, in no time. Yes. Answer in no time means soon. Is it clear? In no time means soon. Now next is, what did all of them draw and paint? What did all of them draw and paint? Yes, this also you know very well. All of them drew a scene with with the head with head boards, fishermen, the sea, the sky, and the sun. Fishermen, boards, the sea, the sky, and the sun. Clear? Yes. Now come to next exercise, children. Read, reflect, and write. Now question number five is here. What had Margaret cry? What did? What had Margaret cry? Why she was crying there? Margaret cried. Why? Because a boy in her school made fun of her drawing. He also told her that her drawing was awful. Her drawing is, uh, her drawing was also not up to mark, not so good, and told that she would never be an artist. तुम कभी artist नहीं बन सकते. So that's why Margaret cried there. Now come to question number six. Where did Tippity take Margaret and her mother? Where did Tippity take Margaret and her mother? How did they reach there? Well, answer is Tippity took Margaret and her mother to a place near some fishing boats, where they met. Where they met Uncle Dot. Where they met Uncle Dot. They reached there with the help of Tippity, which is magic. Yes, she had a magic wand, na? So that's why they reached there with the help of Tippity, which is magic. Now come to question number seven. What did Margaret learn that afternoon after painting with Tippity and Uncle Dot? Yes, answer is Margaret learned that everyone is different. Everyone is different and sees the world differently. सब अलग अलग देखते हैं अपने हिसाब से. He also realized that she shouldn't care of others. She also realized she felt like this. She realized that she shouldn't care of others. Thought her drawings were not good enough, and she only had to keep drawing. Your work is to do efforts only. Okay. Now come to question number eight. Imagine that you are Margaret. The next day in school, you have an art class, and the boy makes fun of your drawing again. What would you say to him? Well, answer. I would tell him it is fine for him to think so. I'll try to incorporate those in my drawing if they are helpful, and it is good to have so many different forms. Now I think, children, question answers are clear to you. Now come to next exercise. Next exercise is word wall, given on page number one hundred and forty-four. 
आठ वर्ड्स हेयर आर सम स्क्रैम्बल्ड वर्ड्स यू हैव टू अनस्क्रैम्बल द वर्ड्स दे आर ऑल आर्ट सप्लाइज Rearrange them to get the correct names. Now write the correct name under each picture. The blank is given here. First is example for you. A. They are watercolors. W a t e r c o l o u r s. Watercolors. Now B picture is paint brushes. P a i n t B R U S H E S paint brushes and third picture is palette. Palette is a type of plate where you put your drawing colors. Okay. Now next is D. Now see, this is easel. Easel. It is a frame for support something. Means if you are drawing. you can attach your tag your drawing there and you can draw it very easily so this is easel now come to e crayons this you can recognize na this this is uh, crayon crayons c r a y o n s and easel e a s e l now come to next one pencil P E N C I L pencil. Now, children, come to next exercise. Next exercise is also very interesting. Now, see here are on the picture of the palette below there are a number of words that describe different shades of basics. Now, these are the different shades of basic everyday everyday colors. Sort them out and fit them into the right color web now in on this page color webs are given there now you have to uh, you have to write the their shades now first one is red crimson scarlet and cherry second one is brown now you choose colors from here in this palette colors are given here brown yes tan good coffee very good and caramel okay now come to next one white number third is white yes pearl pearls are white yes pearl egg shell very good and linen good now come to fourth one black yes ebony jet and suit clear now fifth one is yellow yes very common yellow lemon honey and one is left only sunshine yes yellow lemon honey and sunshine now children one more time i am going to explain this red crimson scarlet cherry brown tan coffee caramel white pearl eggshell linen black ebony jet and suit yellow lemon honey sunshine i hope students all of you have understood the complete chapter now this is the time of assignment now home assignment number 1 revise the chapter thoroughly number 2 learn and write word meanings number 3 learn and write question answers in your mulberry notebook in very neat and clean handwriting so all the exercises of this chapter you will get in the pdf form in your school portal thank you children for watching the video lesson till the end Please write your name class section in your comment box. Okay children bye have a nice day.